I don't know about that one. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. The uh, when you tuck your, your finger in while you do your your magic, but it's a technique, right? I remember it was hot at one at one point. It's still it's still tricky for me. I've been trying it. My fingers don't want to do that. <laughs> they just don't like I want them to, and sometimes they just they resist. <laughs> Oh, I didn't show you my new rack. <laughs> I got a new rack. You want to see it? <laughs> okay, here it is. This is my new rack, <laughs> and it's got like my thumb checks and my uh, party arties, and I need an extra one now for my food, for my wait for my monkey fist slingers. Yo no, my master mash. So let me put this here. Oh yeah, I dropped something. Let me fell down. What was it? It was my standards. Oh. I have a lot of room for me. I have a small space to work with here. Yeah, I have a collection and there's more. I just don't have them. I don't have a place to put. Uh, my monkey fist set. Hold on. Uh, I want to have music in the background. I just don't want it to be too loud because then you cannot hear me. And then that, and then that's just sad. <laughs> Which one is my favorite from all of these? Oh God. I'm actually missing a couple, wait. Dun, 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 dun. My favorite is whichever one I happen to be playing with at the moment. That's all I can, how I can answer that because I, I love them all. You know I have love for them all. So let me see. Okay, let me show you what I'm missing. What's what you don't see 
my bello, my bello. I got some change. I don't know if you know what that is. I love my bello. My bello is just so different. And uh, change is actually a chain that I can install on this bello set and other sets. And I need to unbox it. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'm going to do that. This is my little, uh, for now, until I, until I find, like, the proper set to use the short game with. This is my short game at the moment. It's just two hex nets at, at each side. And I'm doing, I'm trying to, to harness short game magic. And eventually I'm going to put a rule set and set it to short game. I just haven't done that yet. And I can show you what I've been singing lately is my Curlmas TGP and my tribute set a round square uh, Kendarga, I think is his name, and Weston's bead. Can you see that? It's hard to see because of the color is so dark. But yeah, titanium Eman, dude. It just feels it just feels so good. No, I haven't gotten that yet. It looks tight. I like the, uh, <laughs> I like how it looks like it comes in a burger bag. <laughs> That's really cool, dude. Yeah, so no, I have not gotten it yet. I want to though. I probably will. Do you have it? Tell me if you have it. You know what I really want to get, and I just haven't done it yet. And I'm going to. I want to get a 3D print of... I forget what Justin calls it. It's the spike wall. <laughs> it's basically the spike wall. That's that's what I, what I really want. I really want that. And uh, I haven't gotten it yet. But I want to get a metal print of it. And I guess you can do that from Shapeways or whatever. So I already kind of looked into it to see how much it would cost. I think I would probably get bronze. I'm not sure. I have to look at it again. I don't remember. But yeah, that's definitely on my list. And I want to put that baby on chain. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm late on all that stuff. I see everybody get the drops and they jump all over the drops and they're jumping on the drops and all, you know, and that's cool, but I'm too slow on stuff. It's just, I'm never, I'm never lucky enough to get anything that's new when it pops out, you know, it just takes me a while to get stuff. Let me see. Oh. You know what I should do? I should take this ball off. I should pull out the ball, is what I should do. And put the silver, so I have two silvers. Come on, man, get in there. there. So now I have two silver thumb checks going on. So, how's your Saturday? actually on this album that I'm playing right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for my song to pop up, but it hasn't yet. Yeah, 
Here, Eddie, that's for you. Rolling stops, Eddie. Rolling stops, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> my length amazes you I just have like really tiny hands like no one believes this it, it probably because of my hand size I would guess to think that that makes my uh, length even longer but like this is how long wait I don't know how I can explain this okay wait I want to kind of give you an idea this is four inches from here to here four inches my short length that I'm working on. That's, that's my short length. Mitch says it's long, but it's four inches. Now here's my hand. I can show you like how, how big it is. It's like about the size of my hand length. So four inches is how, basically how long my hand really is. I, I have little hands, but my fingers are long. <laughs> My fingers are long, and so, hey, what's up, Rob? What's she doing? What's going on with you? And so, anyway, I wasn't going to tell you. Oh, so yeah, I have like, I have very strange proportions, and it just, it's just like an optical illusion. Every time I try to post up a clip or a picture, it, my hands don't look as small as they really are. <laughs> so it makes the, the cord look longer than what it really is and uh, yeah it's really I really don't play that long I just like this length because it's more it, it makes it easier for me to to position my arms when I'm gonna do my two hand stuff now I can do that with short game I can do my two hand stuff with short game see it's just a tighter, I have to have my arms closer together. I like to spread them out because I have some space in between. <laughs> now you know too much. <laughs> yeah, I like to, I, I like to have some room. I got my arms, I do two-handed stuff a lot, but I feel more comfortable when, when my arms have room to move. I don't like to have them in this position. <laughs> It's constricting and it's hard for me to breathe. <laughs> there are the secrets out now. You know why I like long length. <laughs> oh yeah, my non-dom. You know what I need to do? Like a whole... Actually, I want to jump in on a copycat with, with Switch Play, if I can. I've been kind of trying to do that. So if anybody else is going to steal my idea... You suck. <laughs> but that was kind of what I wanted to do because uh, I think that's good practice, don't you think? Copycat on Switch. I'm slower on Switch, but I can do pretty much a lot of the stuff that I normally do do. <laughs> I said do do. Give me a laughy face. Give me a happy face. <laughs> Come on. I'm having streaming issues. All right, what are you doing? Go lay down. Go lay down right now. You're acting bad. You're behaving badly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm on live stream right now, yo. I don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> She's acting crazy. What are you doing? See, you're on restriction. Now you go in the corner, you have a timeout, and you think about what you were doing, okay? I want you to think about it. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna think about it. <laughs> and uh, I, would, I would gander to think. <laughs> that, that, that style of parenting skills, who am I to say? Not a parent. I have dogs. But the whole go 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 sit in the corner and think about what you did. Punishment. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why the country is the way it is right now. <laughs> Who's giving me mad faces? Who's doing that? 
Who? Who is that? <laughs> is it you, Eddie? <laughs> Yeah, let me see. Rolling stops for Eddie. Rolling stops for Eddie. I'm gonna take off my ring. So I don't have any any no confusion in the rolling stops that I do. <laughs> Thinking hurts my head. <laughs> Tell me about it, man. God. I had to think so much at work. I literally had a headache. I literally had a headache for two days. But then I found out that a co-worker gave me the evil eye. <laughs> For those of you that do not believe. <laughs> there is such a thing as an evil eye. An evil eye. There is such a thing as an evil eye. It's a Hispanic culture tradition. And we believe highly with the superstition. We believe highly that uh, if you see something, you see someone, they look pretty or whatever it is they're wearing and you admire it, you want to touch that, whatever it may be, like, oh, your hair is so pretty, let me touch it. Because if they don't touch your hair, you're probably going to get a headache later. It's a superstition, but it's totally true. And so that's what happened to me. I think I had a uh, sprayed color on my hair like on this side I put like some kind of bright yellow that day and so this co-worker of mine <laughs> she saw me and she was like oh that's cool you put like color in your hair Claudia you know like a like a punk rocker or whatever I'm like yeah I do I do that I sometimes I do that <laughs> so she didn't she did not touch me to say that's pretty let me touch it I'm like that's the whole thing if you touch whatever it is that you admire this is this is this is the the folklore, if you will. If you do that, and you are a person that can put an evil eye on someone, it it breaks the spell, and they don't get the evil eye. But if you don't do that, and you just think about it, and you're like, man, I should have touched her hair, or man, I like that purse, I should have touched her purse, you know. And if you don't do it, and something usually happens. And it's, it's either a headache, it's usually a headache, but you know, it could just be the weather, I, I could just be, <laughs> I could just be having, you know, brain problems because I, I work too hard, because they're making me think too much, maybe, you think, that could be a thing, I've had to think about too many things, I'm juggling three jobs at the moment, three completely different jobs and I have them they, these are not don't think it's just like you know oh do this do that and do this do them all at the same time because we need it all at the same time kind of thing it's uh, a lot more involved than just just a task at hand there's a lot more that I ha that I have to do pertaining to each and every project so juggling more than one is never fun especially when they expect me to think about what's going on <laughs> that's another story. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not even gonna go there. That's that's work stuff. So okay. What was the thing I? I see Riley doing this a lot, and I figured out how to do that. Oh, you want me to show you? You want to learn how to do that? Finger assist two hand play but it's a uh, I don't know what you can call that actually like this movement right here is probably a weave so it involves that but you're also throwing in this hand and using this finger to hook it as you turn it see what I did right there so the first step I wasn't even gonna do a trick, a trick, uh, what was it, workshop thing, but I'll do it. <laughs> At least for a couple of tricks while, it, while I, I have it in mind to do. Okay, so the first thing, you're going to swing upward towards your switch, so it's an upward swing, 
the upward swing is going to hook on your finger, like, like so, okay? When you hook it, wait, let's see, how am I doing it? It's, okay, it's this way. <laughs> it's not this way, it's this way. You have this, your finger pointed to the sky on your non-dominant switch hand, pointed with your face, with, with your palm, out, palm face out, like that, <laughs> away from you. Not like this, no, like this, okay? So that's, that's important, okay? And that concerns you. <laughs> so, okay, so you're going to hook it this way. See how my hand is facing this way? You're going to hook. As you hook, it's turning in this direction, right? As it turns here, you're bringing it this way, that's when you release your finger, and that's when it goes like this. So, let me see, like that. No, not like that. <laughs> try it again, Let's try it again. Breaking these down sometimes is not very easy because it's hard for me to, I don't recognize, I don't, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, it's just a motion that I do. So I wanna break it down. I have to make sure I'm doing it right. Let's see. Was it that way? Wait. Was it? <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't this way. It was this way. Okay, so this way. Turn, turn your hand like this. <laughs> turn your hand like this. Then go like this and let it go. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Thank you, Rob. Oh, okay, I'll see you, Rob. Um, let me see. Do I always play, I'll answer the question and that way you can see it later. Do I always play this link? I make sure that they're all this link, yes. But lately I've been doing short and short is four, my short is four inches from bead to bead, so I'm working with that, with that uh, length, and I think I'm, I'm kind of getting it down to a point where I feel I can do rolling stops, I can do, you know, well, it's just like one, I, I can't do like multiple rolling stops, but right there, I can do that. So I'm trying to mix up my, my, uh, versatility between short and long. So I'm going for seven and a half for long, four for short, and that's how I'm going about that. Ow! I lost a hex net. <laughs> it went right through the knot, right on my foot. <laughs> So, okay, let's see. So this right here, wait. This right here is, I don't know what to call that. I'm gonna call it the carnival. <laughs> there you go, and that's the carnival. So, let me show you on a side view. Like this, like this, like that, like this. You can do those motions fast. This, this, that. It's all, it's all like this, but you're, <laughs> this is horrible, this is so bad. I wanna break it down slower. Here, like this, like this, like that. If you can do that, if you can remember what I just showed you, that's all it is. I try to do it real super slow. <laughs> There's super, wait, super slow motion. There. This kind of makes you see what's really going on. There. I know it looks crazy, but, but it's not that, it's not that crazy. It looks flashy though. <laughs> 
I like it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep doing that. I come up with really cool stuff and then I forget to do it. Let's see. What's 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 another thing to show you that I have time for? I got five minutes. What can I show you? I've already showed you that one. I call this the catapult. I call that the catapult. I tried to learn, I tried to teach that to myself on Switch. It's not that easy for me to grasp it so I can understand if anybody can't really do it. I was teaching myself Switch to do that. It's just really, it is a task. <laughs> I will tell you. Let's see, what is the other thing? I think I showed you that one. That was the two hand. The two hand finger play. <laughs> I don't I don't quite have a I showed you this, I just didn't show how it Oh that's me playing right now. Aww. It's messing up, you can't even hear that song. It keeps cutting out. Okay, so this one right here, I don't know what to call this. What can I call this? Hmm, I don't have a name for it. Anyway, I'll show you it this way. Oh no! Sadness. There, that's it. Okay, well, how are you gonna go about doing this trick that is a two hand double finger uh, action right here? As this is the first step. You have your dominant hand, you have your switch. You're going to hook around that finger. Then you're going to, with, if you have a long enough length and you can do this, I'll, I'll tell you right now, you need to have kind of a long length to do this. Then you're going to switch it over this way. Hook it over this finger like so. Release this bead, yeah, then Go like this, like bounce it off a rebound sort of way, and then back around this way. So, this, this, bounce off. Here, here, wait. Here, here, there, there. Do you get it? <laughs> Does it look nice? right there like that. These are my September beads, by the way. <sighs> what else do I want to show you? Oh, you can't see my party arties really, can you? I shortened a party arty to be a short game. And for me, it's not that hard for me to set it up. It's just, an, it's just all I do is I add another knot on each side. And that's how I'm getting my, my, short, my short game length. Because that right there makes it shorter, see? And that's the short game that I'm playing. And that's fun. Short game is fun. Whatever length you're rocking, once you get to a point where you feel like, oh, I'm, I, I got this down, you know, I may not, like me, in my case, I may not know all the tricks, and I'm not going to ever say that I do because I don't, but I, I'm comfortable in my style, and I'm comfortable with what I can do with the length that I can do it. Now, saying that, having said that, I feel like it's good to mix up two different lengths. Now... This is short, shorter than I'm used to. This is long, what I'm used to actually slinging. Um, wait. Now this is really long. This is compared to my length. 
is right here and that's the, this is really long and I left that really long for a reason short game for the win Jeremy that's right look at, look at what I can do with short game look I can do my catapult with short game look what look I can do wait it's just faster you have to I have to like get my I have to train my brain to, to think faster to do the things that I do two-handed but I can totally do them two-handed Oh. Now let's let's just look at, let's just let's just enjoy long, shall we? Like super super long. Like what Mitch likes to say that I play super super long. <laughs> now this is super long. And the reason I left this the length that it is is because well, I I play with like string toys and stuff and this kind of reminds me of something similar because it's just super super long like astrojax type of thing you know i'm used to that that's basically why i like or why my style is is generally super super long compared to other people but it's really not that long this is really long <laughs> you don't see me play with this very much i don't make any clips and i should i should make like super long clips just for the fun of it because it's a completely different style of play. I mean, it's not, you have to understand that when it's longer, you can involve a lot more body parts. You can, you can throw your shoulder in there <laughs> easily. Yeah, it's just kind of relaxing to know that you're playing with something that's completely crazy. For me, for me anyway, I, I think that way. <laughs> so I hope you learned something if you saw uh, earlier and I hope you enjoyed my stream it wasn't very uh, well it's like it's like they usually are it's like all the streams that I do right I just I have nothing planned I just make stuff up as I'm here as I go along that's how I roll that's how I do it I hope you enjoy it <laughs> I know, I, I have fun doing it, so. <laughs> so yeah, much love to you. Have a good weekend. If you're streaming, keep streaming, because we do this every Saturday. And you're more than welcome to join in someone's stream, stream if you haven't streamed already. Uh, remember, we have a 30 minute time limit, just so that we have enough time for everybody else that wants to stream. And uh, don't use copyrighted music. Don't do that. Facebook don't like that. <laughs> and what else do I have to tell you? Have a good weekend. Have a good Saturday. Thanks for watching.